we're back in the temperate rainforest behind my studio where the myrtle trees grow. Myrtle wood being my main uh, medium for the artworks that I create. And these trees are an important source of my artistic endeavors. Here is a massive myrtle tree that went over in a windstorm, which gives me the raw materials to salvage log and use for my carving. So I always use down trees. I cut the timbers and built this art studio and wood shop in 2005, and it served me well ever since. Let's go inside and take a look around. Almost every year, between April and June, a pod of orcas cruises through the Coos Bay area where I live. These old newspaper clippings highlight some of these events. The top photo is taken right off of city docks in downtown Coos Bay, 12 miles from the open ocean. Since I've selected Myrtlewood orcas combined with driftwood waves as a theme of this art show on the Oregon coast. I will go through a few of the step by steps used in their creation. This is a band sawed out shape of the orca from white myrtle wood. I'm going to do a little extra trim on the tail. Orca's tail on the ribbon sander. After the final finish sanding with a fine grit belt is accomplished, a very key and important step in the process is the flex sanding of it to ensure a quality and even finish and stain. So we've taken the orcas from the band sawed roughed out form uh, with the tail shaped a little bit. You can see how I've laminated tips onto the edges of the tail to make the tail a little wider. Sometimes I do that if the wood's not quite wide enough. So we've taken it from that stage to the shaped and sanded stage, uh, rounded on the flex sander, and here you can see the lamination of these tail tips. Sometimes myrtle wood is real generous and the alignments are just right so you can hardly tell it's even laminated on the tail tips. So from this stage, next step will be to stain, the black stain, to create the markings of the orca. I use the white myrtle wood. Uh, myrtle wood comes in many colors. You can see here the black myrtle wood of a sea lion face study that I carved with white myrtle wood for the orca. Thank you. 